So, you would like to aerate your lawn, but you don't know which system to choose? Well, I'm going to try both of these today. Before we put them both to the test, let's have a look at the similarities and the differences between the two systems. First of all, we'll look at the shoes or sandals. These look the most fun, although whether they're practical or not, I don't really know. Um, they're basically the same sort of thing. They've both got spikes on the bottom. Um, these spikes on these, these shoes or, or sandals are a little bit shorter. They're about 25 mil on there. And on the actual roller itself, I think these are 30, are they? In fact, no, they're 35 mil. So we've got 10 mil difference already there. So you've got a bit of deeper aeration with these than you have, well, with the roller than you have with these. But if you've got the roller, you've got to store it somewhere. You've got to get it, you know, in your shed and keep it protected. Whereas these, they can just go together, fit into a drawer and they're out of the way. So compact wise, these are a definite winner. Length of spike wise, we're looking at the roller being a, 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 the winner for that one really. Now then, ease of assembly. You'd think these were really easy to put together, but, but let me tell you, if you're struggling with these, I've done a whole video all about it. Check out the link in the description below. It will be in there. Um, they were a bit tricky. The spikes go in quite well. You can just push them in through the top. You've got the little um, the bolts on the back there and the nuts go on the front. Carry a 10 mil in your pocket with you and you can tighten them up if you need to. Um, work from the inside out when you're putting them together as well because when you do that, you've got room to move the spanner and tighten them all up. That wasn't so difficult. The difficult bit was the straps. Now, if you ever put any, anything together, rucksacks, um, sprayer harnesses, anything like that, these straps, they can be a bit of a pain and they are quite fiddly to sort out. There were no instructions with these, so I had to go off the, Go uh, not Google images, Amazon images, which is where I got them from. I'll put a link down there to the Amazon product page as well, so you can see the latest prices. Um, so yeah, I had to go off the image for that and it took a bit of doing uh, and you end up with some excess strap. Now, if you're wearing the same shoes all the time and it's the same person using these, these shoes or sandals, you could trim that off to size and you wouldn't have so much flapping about, but I don't know if I'll keep them or whether somebody else will borrow them or not. So I've left that on there. Um, the straps are a bit difficult to get together. Once they are together though, they're on there and they're quite solid. Um, the only problem I've heard of or read in the reviews is that when people are walking around, these tend to get a little bit loose and they tend to flap around on your feet and you're forever stopping and tightening them up. Now, hopefully I've put these together properly and they all lock and they I've tried it already. They do lock up and lock up as they should do, but I haven't obviously walked up and down on the lawn extensively to, to sort of try them out. So hopefully, fingers crossed, they should work and they should be all right. So tell you what, I'll strap them on now. We'll put this one to one side. I'll strap these on. And we'll walk up and down and see how we get on. Well, I've taken the liberty of putting the first one on. And as you can see with my size 10 boot, we've got a bit of overlap at the end here, haven't we? Um, I should think if you're about a size eight, they'll probably be all right for you. But a size 10, we've got a bit of overhang on there. Um, I don't think 10 is particularly big, although I am six foot four. So it's uh, just one of those things. But I'll show you how to put this one on, um, if I can. I'll just move it towards me slightly. I lay the straps out on the floor like so. Um, put your foot in and pull it to the back and then this strap here goes around this part of your boot it comes from the back and holds on it should click in there you go it clicks in and then this bit at the front that comes round now I've adjusted these for size and that clicks in now they're both tight as tight as they can be there's a little locking strap on there you'll see that in the video I made to about putting these things together a little locking strap in there and that supposedly locks the thread in put the, the strap in place so they're on now that's it that's how they should be and it feels a bit funny because they're stuck into the ground but this is a perfect time to air eight for us because it's been dry and, and hot for a very long time and then we've had a, a sudden downpour of rain and the rain sat on the surface of, of the ground and hasn't really sunk in that much so what we need to do is aerate the surface, break it up a little bit to allow that water to, to sort of soak in there. And uh, now as we can walk across, the, the top will be a little bit soft and allow my like, foot pressure to push these spikes down and into the ground. And fingers crossed it should work. Right, let's give it a go. 
Well, this is easy enough really, just walking up and down, stamping your feet as you go, and uh, so far so good. The straps are holding tight, and I can feel the spikes are going into the ground. I don't know if the microphone will pick it up, but you might be able to hear the squelching <laughs> of the water, because the ground is quite soft. But yeah, hey, that feels all right, and so far, so good. That's not bad at all really, is it? The straps are still on, so I'm happy with that. Hey, that wasn't bad then, was it really? I've done half the lawn, um, stamping up and down. It felt quite comfortable, and I suppose you get a good workout as well. Um, the straps held up, these ones are tight, um, and still stayed on, so I'm quite happy with that. Um, I don't know how easy it is compared to the roller, but so far, they, they were all right. You can see there's a lot of mud on the bottom of these. Um, so it's obviously working and we're, we're sort of punching holes in the, in the ground, definitely. I know that much. And uh, I thought with my feet or my boots hanging over the end, it might sort of lean forward and snag and pull a bit, and, but it didn't. I just lifted my feet straight up, straight down like that. You walk a bit funny, but it doesn't really matter, does it? You're getting a workout and aerating your lawn at the same time. So for under 20 quid, yeah, not bad at all, really. Right, let's have a go with the roller. Well, this is the roller then. And uh, as you can see, it's just a simple wheel design either end, just a plastic wheel either side with some bars across and the spikes in. Now these spikes are a little bit longer than the sandals. Um, there's a handle on there. The handle's not particularly long, especially not for somebody my height. I'll push it along, I've got to bend over to be able to give it some pressure into the ground. So that's... Uh, one thing but it did go together surprisingly easy now again i had to test this one out because there were two sets of reviews there were five star reviews saying how great it is and there were one star reviews saying how poor it was and how quickly it fell apart now i'm not 100 percent sure why it fell apart or how it should um, the only thing i can think of is the locking nuts on either side if somebody's tightened those up too much or not enough as you're dragging it backwards and forwards it will start to release so my tip would probably be keep going in one direction all the time just push it get to the end turn around come back don't start rolling it around pushing it backwards and forwards like a vacuum cleaner you might encounter some problems um the handles sort of clipped together now i did say about storing this might be a problem i forgot actually that the handle does come off and, and breaks down so that comes off and it also comes off from higher up which is great for storage but there is a bit of flex in there as well. So you might just not be able to get quite as much pressure on it as you think when you're, you're sort of walking around and spiking the lawn. But saying that, it should be okay. These are all um, sort of pretty tight in here where they should be. And the spikes are all nice and tightened up. I did check them. Oh, I've got one a little bit loose there. I can tighten that up later on. But yeah, after all of these, after using, sorry, both of these things, it's best to just check all the spikes and just make sure they're uh, in nice and tight because the last thing you want is one of these to come free be lying in your lawn somewhere and you catch it with a mower blade because it'll do a bit of damage you've either got to put a new blade on or spend some time sharpening it but saying that back to aeration and let's have a go with this well this seems to be getting through this soft ground no problem at all, look. We've got a slightly deeper aeration and it's nice and comfortable to push. No real effort at all, really. I don't think it's as much effort as uh, lifting your legs up and down, <laughs> but quite, probably not quite as much fun either, is it really? <laughs> oh well. Couple more, and that's the other half of the lawn done. There you go, job done. Well, that was a bit of fun then, and the whole lawn's been done in just a few minutes using both products. Now, we have got a little uh, loose spike on here, so I'll just tighten it up. I've got a 13 mil spanner, um, put that on. You don't need a spanner for the other side because they're locked inside this rail. Um, I've made a video all about this uh, product and how you can assemble it uh, believe me 
when it arrives, it's in a small cardboard box. It's tiny, you think it'll never fit in there. That can't, they've sent me the wrong thing, but it does all assemble into this and it's quite easy. But I'll put the link in the description below so you can have a look at that. So, what do we think? Which one would you choose? Well, I'm not really sure. I think these are a bit of fun. <laughs> and if you're a homeowner um, and you wanna go up and down the lawn and get yourself a bit of uh, exercise, lifting your legs up and down, then they're all right, they're all right. Now, we never had any problems with the straps on this run. Um, when I tried it a few weeks ago, uh, the ground was quite dry and hard. Um, we had a bit of problem with the straps then, but I readjusted them. Um, and got it all sorted and going into the wet ground it was no problem at all today we didn't have any problems they didn't even come loose let alone come off so that's a, a massive plus point on those but they're not quite as deep aerating as, as the wheel over here now with this wheel it's easy to use isn't it you know especially if somebody else is, is using it with you you can just somebody can just take over and carry on and do a bit it's no bother and with this you've got sort of a more uniform coverage say with the shoes, you're stamping up and down and you're going along wherever you're going, trying to keep in a straight line, I don't know, maybe talking to somebody on your phone or doing whatever you're doing at the same time. Whereas this, it's both hands on and you're walking up in a line, turning around and you're walking back again. So I should think you get a more uniform coverage with it. So um, it's up to you really, whichever one you prefer. Those can fit in a drawer. This one will stand in your shed. They're both well, I think that one's a bit more fun. And I think you'd probably encourage people to have a go at your own lawn with those. Put these on and have a walk up and down. But uh, it's a bit of a faft getting them on and off. But this one here, you could take this, you know, from garden to garden and, and do quite a bit of work with it, I think. So this one was about £30. That one was about £20 when I bought them. Um, check out the link in the description for all the latest prices and they'll be in there and ultimately the decision is yours so anything nice to say pop it in the comments section below thank you very much for watching i'm jimmy the mower i'll catch you on the next one